Hey everybody, welcome back for another face smashing, ass kicking, class ditching Mad Panic game review. This time with 30% more high school kids than your average beat em up. Because today we're taking a look at River City Girls 2, a 2022 release from Way Forward and published here in Japan by the always awesome Arc System Works. In fact, it was bundled with the original River City Girls, which I had actually never played before, so this was my perfect opportunity to play both games back to back and make comparisons. And that's exactly what I did. So let's take a closer look at River City Girls 2 and find out if it's a worthy sequel to the first game and the long running Kunio Kun series, or are you better off skipping this one and dusting off that old NES for another playthrough of River City Ransom? Which you might want to do anyway, actually, because that game's awesome. For starters, it has to be said that River City Girls 2 is very similar to its predecessor. And that's to be expected, I suppose, but it's so similar that it almost doesn't feel like a full-blown sequel at times, but more of an update. For the most part, you'll be seeing all of these same environments, though the map has been expanded to include some brand new areas, but also a lot of the same characters, these same weapons, shops, and items, and a lot of this game really is just reused assets. That being said, if you really loved the first game, you'll probably like returning to this setting and these characters, but playing both games back to back, it felt like I was still just playing River City Girls with some gameplay updates when I finally moved on to the second game, at least initially anyway. That's not to say that there's anything wrong with the visuals, though they're still great. It's just that, for the most part, it's nothing you haven't seen before. On the other hand, there have been some pretty significant upgrades to the gameplay, and this game is a marked improvement in that regard. You start off with the four playable characters from the previous game, and as you progress, you can unlock two more. And they all have a unique play style, and you can expand their movesets greatly as you level them up earning money to spend on new attacks at dojos, eventually having a huge arsenal at your disposal that you can chain together into some very elaborate combos, quite a lot more than in the first game. You can of course also purchase a ton of different items at the shops dotted around the map, including healing items as well as items that can grant you various kinds of stat boosts. One thing I found a little irritating though, it's difficult to level up all of your characters evenly since you can only play as one at a time if you're not playing multiplayer. It kind of sucks if in the middle of a game you want to play as one of the other characters, but now they're too weak to take on the challenges of whatever area you've progressed to. Some other improvements to the gameplay include being able to recruit two helper characters at a time instead of just one, including certain support characters that you can actually just pay to have them help you out. You don't have to beat them into submission as you usually would. And all of your playable characters, support characters, and extra items can all be accessed at the safe houses that you eventually procure in the different areas of the city. And speaking of, the city has been expanded from the previous game, it's now bigger, with more areas to explore, more hidden secrets, and more characters offering side missions, and there is a fast travel system via the bus stops scattered around, but there is still a significant amount of backtracking involved, which does get a bit irritating after a while. Overall though, the gameplay is really solid and fun, and with so much to do and unlock, this game will keep you playing for quite a while. The last thing I'll talk about is the presentation, which again, graphically, is almost identical to the first game, which is fine, but the story I found to be kind of irrelevant. The Yakuza once again are taking over the city, and it's up to a ragtag group of high school kids to beat them back. That's all well and good, but again, nothing new, and maybe it's just me, but eventually the English voiceover got a little bit grating. I didn't much care for the cartoon network-ish deliveries, and the jokes didn't land for me a good 80% of the time. Guess you two got some moves after all. I don't see how a dancing video game translates into being able to dance in a club, though. <laughs> of course it does. And we can't wait to, uh, cut a rug or whatever. 
but the Japanese voiceover is also included here, which I found preferable. Also, a note about the soundtrack, it's mostly really good, but a few of the songs were repetitive and annoying. Mostly the songs with vocal tracks, and I could have done without those, but again, other than that, the soundtrack and sound design in general is really good. So as for whether this is a better game than the original or not, I think it definitely is, even if it is very similar in a number of ways. It's very fun, and again, you'll be getting your money's worth because this is a big game with a lot to do, especially if you pick up the Japanese version from Arc System Works, you'll be getting two games for the price of one. Indeed, if you've played all of the other beat-em-ups out there on the Switch and you still feel the need to beat the brains out of some punks, hoodlums, and all-around bad eggs, then go out of your way to play River City Girls 2 because it's awesome. awesome. So there you go, everybody. My little review of River City Girls 2. Uh, had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, really great game. Has its flaws, mind you, as I said, but uh, still really good and well worth playing. And it was a lot of fun playing both games back to back because for whatever reason, the original River City Girls was just one I, I passed on. Maybe I just didn't have time for it. Uh, but picking them up in a twin pack, uh, that was really cool. So I had a lot of fun with both of these games. Uh, great beat-em-ups, although they have a lot of competition on the Switch uh, with stuff like uh, TMNT and Streets of Rage and Fightin' Rage and uh, Jitsu Squad, all that stuff. A lot of great beat-em-ups on the Switch these days. So down in the comments, have you played River City Girls 2 and what did you think of it? Uh, did you have fun with it? And how does it stack up against some of the other really great beat-em-ups on the Switch? I'd like to hear your opinions on that. And until next time, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.